Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to get on here quickly to give you guys a quick update on the release date for iOS 18.1 and Apple Intelligence. We basically have confirmation from one of the most reliable sources as into when Apple will be releasing 18.1 to everyone worldwide with Apple Intelligence. And obviously, this is a major update coming to the iPhone and very important for Apple as Apple will be introducing Apple Intelligence to the masses for the first time with 18.1. However, there is a few features that won't be rolling out initially with the first batch of features coming to iOS 18.1 and Apple Intelligence. So in this video, we'll talk about what to expect, what not to expect, and the official release date for iOS 18.1 and Apple Intelligence. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is some of the new features we can expect to roll out with iOS 18.1 and the first batch of features rolling out with Apple Intelligence. Now keep in mind that Apple will also be introducing other Apple Intelligence features down the road and we'll talk about that later in this video so let's start off with Siri so Siri will finally get an update with iOS 18.1 the new Siri UI new capabilities will be here with the first batch of features with Apple intelligence and iOS 18.1 now most users currently have this Siri right here unless you're running iOS 18.1 beta but once Apple releases iOS 18.1 to the general public this is the new Siri right here. You get the Apple Intelligent Glow around the edges of the display. Siri gains other capabilities. You have the Type to Siri where you can double tap on the bottom of the screen and enter your inquiry. You also have the ability to ask Siri how to do something on your phone. So for example, how do I screenshot? To take a screenshot, quickly press and release the side button and the volume up button at the same time. So pretty cool. Keep in mind that this Siri will only be available for Apple intelligent devices, the new UI, the new enhancements, and obviously Siri will also gain the capabilities to understand if you fumble across your words as well. So with iOS 18.1, expect the new era for Siri and some of the new Siri capabilities. Now, something else we're getting is writing tools. With iOS 18.1 and Apple intelligence, you'll be able to take advantage of the new writing tools. Right there's the new option, so you can use Apple intelligence for pre proofread for rewrites you also have obviously your summarization and things like that so all the writing tools will be available within iOS 18.1 and the first features coming to Apple intelligence now one of my favorite new features in iOS 18.1 and Apple intelligence is notifications summaries and once you start using this you'll never want to go back because this basically obviously summarizes all your notifications once you update to 18.1 you can go under notifications and right here uh, summarize previews and you see right here all your apps that give you notifications you can get summaries for all those notifications and you have the enable or disable toggle at the top for everything right there summarizing notifications you're going to love this feature just taking a quick glance at all your notifications with quick summaries helps you get things done a lot faster i really love the new notification summary feature in ios 18.1 with apple intelligence something else coming with ios 18.1 is in messages and messages we get the message summary and smart replies these will be coming to both email and messages the smart replies will be available within 18.1 as well we're also getting some new features in photos we're going to get the new cleanup tools available within photos where you can go ahead and edit a photo click on cleanup and remove any unwanted distractions from the background apple intelligence will help you determine you can clean objects from the background of photos and things like that which is super cool we're also getting a new focus mode option so if we go under focus mode you're going to get the new reduce interruptions which is also a nice welcome addition to focus mode options within ios 18.1 and we'll also get the new call recording feature and transcript summaries within ios 18.1 that's also coming with the first batch of features for iOS 18.1 and Apple Intelligence. Okay, so now let's talk about some of the features not available within iOS 18.1 and the first batch of features with Apple Intelligence. And I want to start off with a Genmoji. Genmoji will give you the ability to create custom emojis on your iPhone, but this will not be available with iOS 18.1 and the first features for Apple Intelligence. Mark Gurman mentions that this will be rolling out with future software updates, perhaps iOS 18.2. 
2.2 or 18.3 and or beyond. Keep in mind that Image Playground will also not be available at launch with iOS 18.1 and the first features for Apple Intelligence, and Siri will not be getting the ChatGPT support just yet. That's also set to be coming with later software updates for Siri as well. And last but not least, I want to talk about visual intelligence. This is a new feature that Apple announced with iPhone 16 and 16 Pro. It allows you to point the camera of your iPhone and describe an item or something like that. For example, a bike, you can go ahead and point the camera at a bike. It will tell you all about it, where you can buy it, the price and everything like that. So visual intelligence, we have no word as into when this will be available, but it will not be available with iOS 18.1 and the first batch of features rolling out with Apple intelligence. Now, with all that being said, when can we expect iOS 18.1 and Apple intelligence to officially be rolling out to everyone worldwide? Well, according to Mark Gurman, it looks like iOS 18.1 and the first Apple intelligent features will be available on Monday, October the 28th. So a couple of weeks from now, so about three weeks from now, Apple will be rolling out Apple intelligence and iOS 18.1 on Monday, October the 28th. Now, keep in mind that previously that was sort of the rumor time frame, and we thought that Apple could release a little earlier, but it doesn't look like that's the case. Apple is preparing their servers for Apple intelligence and cloud computing, so it looks like they need a little more time. So again, Monday, October the 28th is when Apple will be releasing iOS 18.1 and the first features for Apple intelligence on iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, and the entire iPhone 16 lineup. Obviously, I'll have a full breakdown of iOS 18.1 and all the new features coming to all iPhones as well. So make sure to stay tuned here to the channel. Let me know what you think about the new Apple intelligent features, the expected release date for 18.1. Are you excited? Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.